Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed on this terrific Wild Out Wednesday. I am doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you and love and light and many blessings are yet to come. And if you can, please like and subscribe, hit that notification button, even hit that bell when you know I'm about to upload my next video. And it's just with my channel, if this is your first time being here, I, I talk about so many different things. I talk about INFJs. I talk about, you know, Hyoka empaths. I've talked about empaths. I've talked about indigos. I've, I've talked about different paths heard on relief and, you know, going through narcissistic behavior and dealing with people with narcissistic behavior, not me, but, you know, dealing with people going around that and, and releasing past hurt. So it's like when you're coming out to my channel, you, you know, I want you to come out and you feel totally different when you look, watch my videos. You feel a positive vibe. Like today I'm listening to uh, Wipe Out All Negative Energies. It's, um, it's a, it's a nine hour, it's a nine hour uh, meditation that I try to use. So it's just like with my channel, I try to branch out and talk about a lot of things because a lot of us are going through a lot of stuff. And it's just like me trying to con pay my contribute, you know, trying to contribute to the world. So if this is your first time coming to my channel, please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell. And if you resonate with what I'm talking about, even be pleasant enough to drop a positive line. I love stuff like that. But today, my um, and let me not get to my my um my regular subscribers. You know, so much love to you guys. Um, with love and light and many blessings to you also but today my video is about twin flame 101 are you feeling the shift of the fifth dimension are you in the shift of the fifth dimension and if you are these are some of the things that you might be feeling when you're going through the fifth dimension you will no longer want to dwell on the negative things you will feel a higher vibration it feels like you're in blissful heaven like there's like the old things and the old negative ways will no longer hinder you or bother you or you're just feeling that way and then you'll start gravitating towards people that are feeling the same way and it'll just be a overwhelming thing of joy a overwhelming film film uh feeling of joy to the point where you're going to start crying because there's some if you have watched my videos before i can sit up here and say i'm just so happy i'm just so happy and then it's, it's just like not knowing this is how you feel you know this is how you know this is what you feel like doing and it is just okay because it's like we we are always in the third dimension but it's like before you get to the third dimension you're going to have to go through the fourth dimension to get there so it's like when you're getting that way you'll start shedding off all your old habits and it's just even if your old habits come back they're, they're not going to feel the same anymore you're not going to even want to deal with it anymore and it's just like all the old you know the old past hurt and everything will come back and i guess i was starting to feel that because i was reaching that fourth dimension and i'm starting to shed off all these things and it's like the experiences that i've been having is like people have been presenting themselves to me to where i had to be a mirror image of the things that they needed to change and I noticed that today, you know, because at first I was in a blah moment, but now I'm in a blissful moment. Like, oh my gosh, I feel so good. And now you're just overly emotional, but it's for a good reason, because now you know that you are in the fifth dimension. And I, you know, I talked about my, you know, the age of Aquarius and yes, die. I did listen to that video. If you did not see my comment, I never knew that I listened to that song a lot when I remember being in my little baby walker and jamming to that song <laughs> uh the age of the Aquarius and I was just like oh my god shit, I never knew what the name of that song was until I heard it it was from back from the 1960s and I mean it took me back to my childhood even though I wasn't born in the 60s I know my parents used to listen to a lot of stuff like that or 
like California Dreaming by Mamas and Papas. So, you know, if, if you're in that age, you already know what I'm talking about. So it just took me back to the Woodstock days. And I mean, I felt tears of joy and I'm running around here dancing like, oh my gosh, this took me back. You know, I'm really feeling it. And it, it, it feels really good to know that you are in that fifth dimension where nothing can t stop you. Even if it's that time for you to move on to the next stage where you pass on, you're still going to feel that. Like, but you feel unstoppable. Like nothing, can, like, nothing can pierce you at that time. You might go through some things, but it won't, it won't bother you as much as it did before when you're on the third dimension. Because when you're on the fifth dimension, there is no time. It's no, no time or space or anything like that. So, guys, I'm not really trying to hold you up today. You might be going through some stuff, but these things are happening for a reason. It is trying to merge you and ascend you from the third dimension to the fourth, to get there to the fifth dimension. And it's a good feeling when you feel that way because it feels blissful for you to know that things are going to be okay. And it won't bother you anymore. It's like negative stuff will come, come up. But it won't phase it won't phase you as much, and it'll probably you won't even you know you probably won't even deal with it no more because when we're going through the third and fourth dimension like that, it it goes to that point where you want to keep you, you know if you keep going through that cycle, it's just like your ego is bringing up old past history, and it's it's up to you to not let that bother you. It's just like to let it come up and just you know just let it go. Just don't even fight it, but just let it go. And just raise yourself and ascend yourself up to the fifth dimension. Now, guys, before I go, I'm going to go ahead. I don't know. Uh, Yankee had gave me a good idea because it's like so many people. I love you guys for all the people that make comments to me. I'm trying to see how I can be able to make a video from my phone and be able to look at the comments on my laptop. Because I know I can't read them all from my, you know, read them from my laptop. I have I mean reading from my phone so I will be making a video probably either today or tomorrow and I will be going live tomorrow so look for that I might even go live tonight if it's not too late so guys look out for that so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it because last time I was having really problem a lot of problems and uh, Candace was trying to help me and I could not figure it out I was like dumb it down dot com I was like uh, I cannot get this it was like really aggravating me so I will do my best to try to go ahead and do a live video so we can just chat and network and stuff. There are certain things, remember, I will not talk about. So we can talk about anything else, but it's just certain things you guys know I can't talk about. So that's pretty much all I got to say for you guys today. And I hope there's a lot of people that are going. I, well, I wish everybody would go into the fifth dimension because I, I don't like to see anybody that's sad or upset or depressed or anything. So I'm just hoping and praying that everybody can get up into the fifth dimension so you can be able to let go of the things that, you know, you can no, no longer change. And it's just things that I know that hurt you. And it's just like lately I've been, you know, I deal with a lot of things and it might hurt at times but if it's something that you can't change especially if it's about family members or co-workers or your other half and stuff like that you have to be able to accept them and never take it personal because it's just something that's going on with them and it is not going on with you and they're trying to reflect it on you and it's just like they say when you try to put somebody in a box and you're trying to be malefic you're hurting yourself and then when you're hurting yourself you're doing that to other people if you're loving someone and you're doing it you know, when you're loving yourself, that means you're bringing it out and loving other people. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. I'm not going to make a long video today. And I usually try not to make a long video, but um, like I said today, I'm listening to wipe out all negative energy. There's no songs or anything. But it really makes me feel good because it feels like I'm wiping out all the negative energy in my life. Because, you know, that ego, he gets mad or she gets mad anytime, you know, you don't pay attention to her no more. And I'm just like, you know, you're not relevant to me. So I'm going to go ahead and let you do what you do, but I'm going to let it go. So, and I hope the best for everybody. And I hope you have a blessed week. And I will see you on my next video. And please look, at, look for me. To see if I'm going to do a live video. I'm going to try to see if I can do it tonight. And see if I know what I'm doing. So if not, you know, I will be cutting it short. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Peace. And be wild.
much love to you. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop a line or two. Alright. Love you guys. Bye.